Africa. I'm going to pray for all of you. I'm going to pray for all of you. Come on. Um, after this, you, when you reach your home today, go and touch your mom. Do you hear me? Go and touch the feet of your mom. Yeah, she will be okay. Mama uh -huh. will be healed because his arthritis is very bad. Be pregnant. Amen. Be pregnant. Amen. That's before Friday, you must go to the doctor next week. Jesus. suffering from must not go to a child, the daughter. Amen. She's suffering from a mental problem. No? Yes, she's suffering from a mental problem. She's suffering from a mental problem. Yes. Now, I saw that this case can also go to the daughter. No, but after I prayed for you, even the daughter will be free. Amen. It seems like sometimes the mind just runs away and come yes. back. Uh -huh. huh? yes. Runs away and come back. Okay. But the person was starting to be very mental. Yes. But I saw that I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried much about her. 
I'm worried about the daughter because it seems like it's a family case now. I believe praying for her, even the daughter will be free. Amen. How, how long you've been serving him? I love this man. Come, come, how long have you been serving him? Mm. Do you know what he's serving? Do you know what he's serving? It is going to be very challenging for him. I don't know if uh, I've got a sick mic or what. Maybe you can close here. God has to speak first. Before I can act. If you check these days, young people, every young person wants to be a prophet. I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. But, but you look at them, they are so young. You know, you ask them a question when did you serve God? I want to tell you something. The Bible says Jesus decided to go and kneel in front of John the Baptist. What kind of foundation was he laying? What was he telling us? How can God kneel in front of his, his own creation? Something that he created himself. Pray for them. You know what's the issue? The issue is members. That's true. What will my members say? <laughs> they don't want to trust me again. Why do you want to be trusted when you are dying? <laughs> so now I'm trying to teach this man what he said. When that man, when he goes down, you go with him. When he goes up, you go with him. That's right. When people are talking, you close your ears. That's right. You focus. And if you do that, whatever that he has done, by the time when he's waking, you will be able to do double. If he's a prophet, you'll be a prophet times two. If he's an apostle, you'll be an apostle double. The anointing will be doubled. I can take you back to Elijah, Elijah and Elisha. There are so many prophets that discouraged Elijah. Not all prophets, you must listen to them. Some they will misguide you. The people you find someone coming to tell you, you know, man of God, I think you're ready. You're ready to start a ministry. You're ready. But you know that you're not even ready. You break your father's church. You go and start your own. The Bible says God is not the author of confusion. That's right. If you break someone's church, you start your own. That church is not coming from God. That's right. That's right. So as I'm praying for you, you can learn from me. Amen. Challenges will come. Opportunities. There will be opportunities that will come. The devil will tell you, you know, if you start your own ministry, money, you will have money. That's what he will tell you. There's no money in the ministry. There's money in obedience. Yes, sir. I was enjoying it. Mm. The man of God said, let's go to the crusade. I carry my small bag. I run after him. <laughs> he said, let's go where we I follow him. Yes. But challenges came. Other people came <clears throat> to discourage me. I closed my ears. Come, I pray for you. She has been following me. <laughs> when are you praying for me? <laughs> I'll pray for them. Pray for You're free, man. You're free. Children are free. Amen. My money comes from God. I'm telling you so that in the future you will remember what I said. Money comes from God. Remember, you've been telling your wife about you. I want to wait. I want to wait. And she's telling you what about the will of God. So now money comes from God. Amen. So, but I'll pray for you. This thing of nursing, nursing, nursing. It will be something that is temporary. You know, 
I believe there's something great that God will do with you in the quiet mm -hmm. It's not a job that provides money for you. It's the grace of God that gives you a living. Amen. So, because sometimes your husband is a bit confused. He wants to work this man. But let's allow him to work for now. Amen. <laughs> for now. For now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. For now, and I believe something will happen. God bless you. Amen. Let me pray for you.